Hey y'all, it's Brody, and today I'm here to give you the Indigathon 2020 tag. Indigathon 2020 tag is one of our video challenges for the Indigathon, which if you don't know, is a readathon that I co-host every November with my friend Michelle over at Dorwood's Another Letter to celebrate Native Lit and Native Authors. It's a very simple six question tag that has to do with like, you're you reading Native Lit, your experience reading Native Literature, your experience with Indigathon reads. Six questions. Really simple, really easy. And like I said, this is a video challenge, which means there is a giveaway attached. So watch until the end of the video to learn more about the giveaway where you can win you some books by some native authors. It should go without saying, but because this is the Indigathon tag, all of your books have to be answers by native authors. Question number one is, what is your favorite native authored book? And for me, I have a There There by Tommy Orange. This follows 12 different characters who are all Native Americans, who are all going to this common goal of the big Oakland powwow. They're all coming from their different things that they have going on, their different struggles in life, their different paths in life, and it's all going to accumulate at this big powwow. And um, the way that Tommy Orange can write 12 different characters and make them all sound super distinct, I, I loved it. This book is a masterpiece. It's a work of art. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Question number two is, which book do you find yourself recommending the most often? And I have like a two-parter answer for this. So if you want something a little lighter, I recommend A Lot's Way by Darcy Little Badger. I have a full spoiler-free review video that I will leave linked for you to go watch if you so choose. Um, this is, I've been describing it as like a speculative, YA, spooky-ish whodunit. And then if you like more adult horror, uh, I recommend The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Two books I have become very synonymous with on my channel in 2020, and it's not something I'm mad about. I feel like these are also kind of similar in the vein that like, it's kind of a paranormal situation going on. Like I said, this follows a teenage girl named Ellie who is trying to avenge her cousin's murder and bring him murderer to justice and then this follows a group of four black feet men who are all being haunted by the ghost of a crime against nature they committed whenever they were teenagers so both of these books i love them i think you should go read them they're both 2020 releases go support native authors what is a book that you picked up because of someone else's recommendation for me i don't have a book i have a whole author <laughs> i have louise erdrich <laughs> the birch bark house antelope woman the Plague of Doves, and La Rose. Louise Erdrich is one of the most prolific Native American writers today. Um, my friend Wheezy absolutely loves Louise Erdrich, and I picked up all of these because Wheezy told me to. Also, Louise owns her own bookstore. I will leave the link for that down in the description if you want to go support a Native-owned business. Go check that out down there. The next question is, what is the most recent book by a Native author that you have read? And for me, that is A Dead White Writer on the Floor by Drew Hayden Taylor. This is a play that follows a bunch of different iconic Native American literary characters. I feel weird saying literary characters, but think like Disney's Pocahontas, Injun Joe from Tom Sawyer, Tonto. So this follows a group of them as they just appear one day in this room where there is a dead white writer laying on the floor and they learn that he has been trying to rewrite their stories again. So they find his typewriter and choose to rewrite their own stories. This is a play and it is one of the best explorations of identity politics um, that I've ever read. I fucking loved it. I, don't, I miss reading plays. I used to do that a lot. I used to be kind of a drama geek. We didn't have drama in my school, but I like to read plays. So I'm starting to get back into it with Drew Hayden Taylor. Number five, what is the next book that you plan on reading? And for me, that is Heartbeat Raised by Pamela Sanderson. This is the group book for Indigathon 2020. And I think if you are hosting something, then you have an obligation to make sure that you make that book a priority. This follows two people named Rayanne and Henry who are working at this um, resource center for urban native people. She's doing a new project and it gets passed into the hands of Henry, who is like the owner's nephew. And I think it's kind of like a rival co-workers to lovers thing. I'm very excited to read this. My friend Erin has recommended this to me. Uh, I will leave Erin's channel linked down below, so make sure you go check her out. Uh, so this one could also work for the recommendation thing, because Erin 
kind of yelled at me about it until I picked it up. And the final question is, are there any 2020 releases that you still want to get to? So in the interest of keeping this video as short as possible, I'm going to go through the three 2020 releases I have on here for this question, and I'm going to try and describe them in three words or less. I have the middle grade book, The Brave by James Byrd. I would describe this as neurodiverse found family. I have a memoir, which is Carrie by Tony Jensen, which like, let's appreciate this cover for a second. And um, this one is women gun violence. I have one that everyone's been raving about, which I still haven't gotten to, and that is Winter Couch by David Heska Wombly Whedon. This one is cop reconnecting identity. So that's it for my answers for the Indigathon 2020 tag. I hope you do this tag. I hope you'll participate in the readathon. Uh, but what you're probably really here for is the giveaway information. So let me just do that. So for this challenge, we are going to be giving away two books to one winner. You are going to win two books. That is Book of the Month editions of Winter Counts by David Heskowombly Whedon, which I just held up and Betty by Tiffany McDaniel. So if you are selected as the winner, you will have 24 hours to make sure that you reply to us with your um, shipping information so we can make sure the books get sent out to you. Um, if you do not reply within 24 hours, then that is considering a forfeit, and we will pick another winner. So make sure you reply within 24 hours. And all you have to do to enter this giveaway is do this quick six question tag. Of course, if you don't want to enter the giveaway, you don't have to. If you do want to enter the giveaway though, I ask that you leave a link in the comment section of this video to your tag video so I know who is entering and who is just doing it for funsies. I should also mention that this giveaway is going to be open the entire month of November so that we can ensure as many people as possible have time to make their videos and enter. So you will not be receiving the books during Indigathon, you will not be receiving the books before Indigathon, you will be receiving the books after they are shipped. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you leave me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell and do all that good stuff down there. Comment question of the day. I want to know if you have read any native lit off of my recommendation and if you have, what is it? Um, also, just the best native book that's ever been recommended to you. Let's do that too. And if you don't have time, you don't have the spoons, you just don't want to, then leave me an emoji, preferably a yellow heart, so I know you made it all the way until the end of the video. Alright, I hope you have a wonderful, whatever it is, wherever you are, I will see you next time with another video. Thank you for watching. Okay, cool. Bye.